You know, one question that a few people have asked me before is our logo, where it came from. So I originally designed our first logo and I thought it was going to be, you know, very symbolic, right? So it had what looked like an operational amplifier symbol, which is a sideways triangle, if you're not familiar. And inside that I had the waveform from the Oklahoma 2011 earthquake, which was one of the earthquakes that got me involved in geophysical instrumentation. And I thought this is going to be great. Unfortunately, if you're not a graphic designer, it's almost impossible to design a logo that doesn't look like some part of human anatomy. And I couldn't make anything that I liked. We had that logo actually on the first couple circuit boards that I ever put out back when I was still in graduate school. Then I went to a local design firm, ended up paying, I don't know, it was a lot. I want to say it was over a thousand dollars in the end for them to design this logo and some business cards. They gave me lots of options. We went through two or three rounds of refinement. But in the end, this logo is supposed to represent a sensor and we're sending some sort of sensing waves down into the earth. I like the logo. It's clean. It's easy to put in a square and then have our name above and below or to the sides or rearrange it however you want. So having a graphic designer do it was definitely worthwhile. I probably would go somewhere like Upwork now and try to hire an independent designer instead of a firm. I've had pretty good luck on Upwork. But anyway, that's the, the story behind our logo.